This video demonstration is going to be of hybrid cloud protection. First thing we're going to do is log in as a tenant to a VMware public cloud provider's vCloud director environment. Here you can see there are two virtual applications currently running. Next thing we're going to do is log in as the provider to the cloud protection tool from EMC. Here we're going to the organizations area, which is where we onboard and enable backup services to the tenants of vCloud director. You can see that there are three policies that are currently assigned to this virtual data center of this customer. There's one default policy of silver. We're going to switch to the tenant logging in with their hybrid cloud tool. This is vCloud Automation Center. Within vCloud Automation Center, you can see that we have the ability to integrate the backup services that we're providing through vCloud Director. Uh, the integration that you see is one of the possible scenarios with REST API integration. Here you can see that we've added the ability to, to assign protection policies to the templates, and we've also added more on-demand capabilities. We're going to go and consume a template. As you can see, we're going to choose this Linux template of medium build uh, with a default protection policy of silver, and we're going to actually tell it to choose a default rather than explicitly setting one for this uh, consumption. So as we spin off that template, we're also going to go choose a Windows 2012 template. Now this template may not actually require that default silver backup policy. So we're going to decide to make this an ad hoc only policy. This means that there won't be a backup schedule assigned to this vApp. Now let's take a look at the provisioning process. vCloud Automation Center has a request tab where it tracks the active requests that are occurring. And as they complete, the requests will drop off the screen. You can go to the top right to see uh, the filter where we can go to see if it was successful or it failed for those two deployments. Now we're going to look at the vCloud Director uh, protection product and we're going to see that the vApps have actually been assigned. So this would be a backup admin of the provider looking to see that the policies are being used for the virtual applications that have been created. And you can see that they are there. Now we're going to switch back to the tenant. And as a tenant, you can see that this uh, Linux-0035 has been provisioned. Now here on the right side, you can see all the on-demand things for backups that we can do. We can do an on-demand backup, we can disable the schedule, we can restore, we can update the status, and we can also upgrade a policy to a premium tier if needed for this VM. We're going to start by upgrading the policy. So under vCloud Automation Center, it asks you to enter a description, uh, and this could actually kick off a approval process if so required. So you can see that the request went through very quickly. We're going to flip over to vCloud Director to identify that this virtual application is now in the Silver Premium tier. The next thing we're going to do is do an on-demand backup. This on-demand backup is going to also request for a, a description. As it gets submitted, you're going to see it show up in the requests, and the request is uh, synchronous, meaning that the request will, will live as long as it takes to run. So in the background, there are processes that are occurring, REST integration through vCloud Director to kick off the backup. We're switching over here to the, the GUI for vCloud Director protection, and you can see that there is a process being tracked there for the backup for that customer. And then as well, the cloud director, if the customer had access, they'd see that their vApp was, had a external processing occurring on it. So there's three different areas that the backups are being recorded and tracked. The tenant would really be focused on the VCAC portal, most likely. We're also going to show that under the covers, vCloud Orchestrator is what's doing the REST integration for the backups. So you can see that we have a uh, workflow called Backup vApp. And this workflow is in a waiting state because we're waiting for vCloud Director's tasks to complete, which tells us that the backup is completed. You can see there that the backup is done. And as we switch back to vCloud Automation Center, you can see that the task is complete. And that backup is done. The next thing we're going to do is look at the backup status. So if we go to the vApp, we can go to Properties. 
And then you can see listed here, we have some custom properties that show the size of the backup, uh, when it was created, the expiration, and what the state of the last backup was. We're going to go ahead and do a restore. Now a restore requires that uh, virtual application be powered off before we run it. And so what we're going to find during this run is that we actually do fail the task. And this is intentional so we can highlight that the, the erroring and reporting is properly getting back to the tenant to let them know that there were problems. So here, here you can see that from the cloud admin GUI there was a failure. And this failure is being recorded very verbosely for the cloud admin. So the tenant is also going to see this failure with NBCAC. And what we're going to do is go back and power off that vApp. And then we'll kick off the restore again. We're going to flip back to vCenter Orchestrator to show the other workflow that's being used. So as you can see, the restore vApp workflow uh, failed initially, and then you can see that we're at the waiting state for vCloud Director to return to us that the restore has completed successfully. We'll switch back to vCloud Director. And we can show that the, uh, the tasks succeeded, just like VCO told us that it did. Uh, the virtual application has been restored.